Hey everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a crystal collection or haul video. I just recently got a bunch of crystals and I haven't been collecting them for a while but I've been learning about them and I've been learning that they like possess certain energies and promote certain things so I'm not saying that like crystals solve everything and that all of this stuff is true but I do like the idea of collecting crystals and just carrying them around with me and I do like that there's kind of a meaning behind them, who knows if it's really true or not, but I do really like that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my crystals and explaining the meaning behind them. The first one I'm going to be talking about is the Amethyst and I am wearing it on this necklace that I got from Ultimate Zen, a cute Etsy store. I will link their Etsy store below. And I also have these two which I got from a uh, shell, a seashell store in Seaside, Oregon, and then this one I got at a store called the Stone Moon in my city. It is very small, very cute. And what the amethyst promotes is piety, humanity, and sincerity, and spiritual wisdom. It is the psychic protection stone. It also protects one from thieves. It is a meditative and calming stone. It eliminates impatience, increases spirituality, prosperity, and abundance. The next stone I'm going to be talking about is Jade. Growing up, I guess I've had exposure from like the Asian culture and American culture just because I've grown up um, being half Asian and half white. So jade has always been an important thing in my family and my mom used to collect it and we used to just have like a lot of it just everywhere and this my dad actually gave to me. I am not quite sure where I got it but it is a jade bracelet and I love wearing it. It is so big and it's really thick, it's kind of like a statement, you know? Jade is a special gemstone of healing and stability. It relieves anxiety and lightens emotions developed around fear. It never allows any negative energy or influences to affect the individual wearing it. So I think that is very cool because this is a bracelet, so it's lit. No negative energy up in here, bitch. The next crystal in my collection is Sodalite, and I actually got it sent to me in the mail by the same girl who sent me this beautiful amethyst necklace. And let me just tell you, so many good things have happened since I put this on, so like, just to be safe. Um, this is so pretty. It literally looks like earth in a stone, and I saw this at the crystal store that I have been shopping at, but I don't know, this is just cut so well and I can just hold it and it's like round and it feels so good. So basically it is the stone of logic, rationality, and efficiency. It is helpful for work and it stimulates thoughts. Um, it's thought to be good for healing breaches of communication and it is the stone of truth. The next stone I'm going to be talking about is gold stone and I have the blue gold stone and then just the regular one and this is actually man-made and when I tried doing research on it I didn't really find anything cool about it. Molten copper accidentally tipped into a molten glass container and I guess created this and the people were like oh that's pretty cool like Let's uh, use that in our lives to be pretty. So yeah, I really like this. It doesn't really have any meaning as far as I can tell, but if you guys know of this having any meaning, then let me know. The next crystal is opalite, and this enhances psychic ability and induces visions. It stabilizes mood swings, and it is thought to purify blood and kidneys for like crystal healing, I guess. So this is honestly one of my favorite ones. I wish I had a bigger one so I could just like hold it, but I do love the way that this is shaped. It is just so beautiful. I just want a hundred of these. Just ah. The next stone I'm going to be talking about is pyrite, and I actually have two of them. They both look very different. One of them is just, um, I don't know, it looks like a little moon, and then the other one is just very polished and very shiny and looks like a magnet. So pyrite is a protective stone and then it shields the user from negative energy, it protects from environmental pollution and physical danger, and it promotes good physical health and well-being. The next crystal I'm going to be talking about is the quartz, and it is the power stone. It channels universal energy and enhances thoughts beneficial for manifesting, healing, meditation, protection, and is good for energizing other crystals. This next stone is black tourmaline, I think that's how you say it, and it is the grounding stone. It provides a connection between the earth and human spirit. 
It channels healing light and promotes sense of power. The last stone slash crystal I'm going to be talking about is fluorite, and this is a very small one, but it promotes spiritual and psychic wholeness and development and manifesting one's life purpose. So those are all the crystals in my collection. Hopefully I am going to grow this collection because I love collecting them and I love the way they look and they are just so, so pretty. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I left out some facts. Um, and let me know if you enjoy collecting crystals as well. I think it's really cool, even if you don't believe in them. Like, who even cares? They're so pretty. Like, they're so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.